Hello and welcome to the I Get Remote Sensing Concept Modules. My name is Dr. Brian Perkins and I will be presenting the Spectral Resolution Concept. There are a couple different definitions for spectral resolution. The first from Perkis and Clamas. Spectral resolution is a measure of the specific wavelength intervals that a sensor can record. Another definition from Campbell, spectral resolution is the ability of a sensor to define fine wavelength intervals. These definitions are related to the number and locations of spectral bands that a sensor records. Each band records a separate wavelength of light received by the remote sensor. Every remote, remote sensor is designed differently. Each one will have its own spectral resolution in terms of the number, width, and sensitivity of each band. It is useful to examine the historical context of spectral resolution. Originally, black and white film recorded only one set of information, only one band, in the entire visible light spectrum. When displayed on black and white film, what a photo interpreter would see would be numerous shades of gray. This limited photo interpretation because humans can only distinguish about 20 shades of gray. With the invention of color film that recorded visible light in the red, green, and blue wavelengths, much more information became available to the interpreter. The three bands, the red, green, and blue, could be combined to create thousands of colors. The human eye can interpret many more colors colors than shades of gray. Later on, infrared film and various digital remote sensors recorded more and more wavelengths of light and this helped the interpretation of aerial photographs and satellite imagery. By examining this graph, we can see why spectral resolution is important. This graph shows lawn grass in green and maple leaves in pink. This graph shows the reflectance of those two materials over various wavelengths of light. Would you be able to tell a difference between lawn grass and maple leaves based on the reflectance in band 1 only. Band 1 is shown here in blue. The answer is no. Lawn grass and maple leaves have approximately the same spectral signature in the visible light spectrum from 0.4 to 0.7. By increasing the spectral resolution by collecting data in band 4, the near infrared region, we can now distinguish between lawn grass and maple leaves. Increasing spectral resolution allows users to identify more features on the surface of the Earth. Increasing spectral resolution is limited by the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum is the range of radiation emitted from the sun as shown below in the diagram. The major portions of the electromagnetic spectrum include radio, microwave, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, x-ray, and gamma rays. Humans can only see the visible light portion in the very middle. The three main Divisions within the visible light portion are the red, 
green, and blue. Remote sensors are designed to detect the visible light portion along with other regions, mainly the infrared. As we look at the left hand side of the diagram, we can see that radio waves have a relatively long wavelength and a relatively low frequency. As we move to the right of the diagram, the wavelength decreases and the frequency increases. Also shown on this diagram is the fact that some portions of the spectrum do not penetrate the Earth's atmosphere. These regions are the microwave, ultraviolet, X-ray, and gamma ray. Let's take a closer look at the visible light portion of the electromagnetic spectrum and how our eyes function as remote sensors. Shown in the graph here are the three primary regions that human eyes are sensitive to. These are the short, medium, and long wavelengths of the visible light spectrum representing blue, green, and red. We can think of human eyes as having a spectral resolution. In this case, we have a three-band spectral resolution covering the visible light spectrum from 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers. Not all parts of the electromagnetic spectrum are transmitted by the atmosphere to the surface of the Earth. Uh, those portions that are transmitted are known as atmospheric windows. Those are shown in gray below on the chart. We can see that the visible region, infrared region, and the radio region are all transmitted by the atmosphere. Other wavelengths of energy are absorbed by the atmosphere. Those are shown in black on the diagram. Uh, these include um, the ultraviolet region, portions of the infrared region, as well as portions of the microwave region. Various gases within the atmosphere absorb these wavelengths of energy and prevent their transmission to the surface of the Earth. Why is this important in terms of spectral resolution? Well, sensors can only record the energy that has been transmitted through the atmosphere, reflected back from the surface of the Earth, and transmitted back through the atmosphere to space. Let's examine the spectral resolution for various remote sensing devices. This table shows the progress of technology as we increase spectral resolution over time. Starting off with the black and white camera, this device only recorded one band of information for the entire visible light spectrum. As the color camera was developed. It recorded separate information for the blue region, the green region, and the red region of the visible light spectrum. This represented an increase in spectral resolution. Later on, film cameras were able to capture the near-infrared region. This was developed during World War II to detect camouflage on military vehicles. Satellite remote sensors were able to capture not only the visible light spectrum, but also the near-infrared, mid-infrared, and thermal infrared regions. The general trend that we see here in this table as we progress to more modern remote sensors is an increase in the spectral resolution. For example, Worldview 2 captures 
eight bands of information. This chart shows the differences in spectral resolution between Landsat 7, shown on the bottom, and Landsat 8, shown on the top. You'll notice that Landsat 8 has three additional bands. Band 1 of Landsat 8 was added to enable investigations of coastal waters, and Band 9 of Landsat 8 was added to detect cirrus clouds within the atmosphere. Let's review the concept of spectral resolution. It is the ability of a sensor to define fine wavelength intervals of energy. Spectral resolution is specified by the number, location, width, and sensitivity of bands of a particular remote sensor. The spectral resolution is unique for each and every remote sensor and finally increases in spectral resolution enable more information to be recorded and utilized to further our understanding of the planet. I would like to thank the following organizations for making this presentation possible. The IGET Remote Sensing Project, which was funded by the Nas National Science Foundation. I would like to thank the USGS for hosting the Summer 2013 Institute, and I would like to thank Glenville State College for supporting my participation in this project. Thank you.